All right, in this video, we are finally going to be upgrading the seats and safety in our Corvette Z06. So I've got here a race equipped seats. I've got five point harnesses and I have the brackets for the race equipped seats. We have done this, but I wanted to do another video for you guys because we kind of did it all in one. But I want to show you guys that you can put race equipped seats in your Corvette or really any car. So they come with universal brackets, as you'll see here and you can mount them to any vehicle. They just come with adjustable brackets so you can position the seat wherever you want. And uh, we already put the driver's seat in here, but you can see we have not put the passenger seat in here. So the passenger seats like, you can see they're an all aluminum seat, super uncomfortable. Um, you're pretty much sitting on metal with a tiny little padded cushion. And then these belts are actually expired. So we're gonna go ahead, take these out and uh, put in the new race equip belts as well. We've got our harness bar. So it should be uh, fairly straightforward, but let's get to it. Let's start by taking out that seat. I'm gonna unbolt it and then show you guys our starting point and we'll get the new seat in there, get these lap belts in here and this thing's gonna be better than ever. Okay, so seat is out and now we've got all of our harness as well. So before we put the new seat in, we're of course gonna change out the harness. So um, nice thing is I don't really have to reconfigure all this stuff, it's already done for us. So I'm just gonna remove the bolts and uh, that way we're ready to go for the new harnesses and I can just put them into the existing spots where everything is. Harness bar has already got the spot for it. So let me just go ahead and uh, get this stuff out as well. Okay, so all the lap belts here are loose, and now I can go ahead and show you guys the new stuff so that we can get it in. Man, look at how nice these things are, you guys. For some reason, I had in my head that they were gonna be red, but this looks so much better. Oh, this is gonna look good. Let's get these in there. All right, so race equipped seats are all in here. Now it's a matter of getting the seat in here and adjusting them, but uh, let's go ahead and swap that seat out on our seat bracket. Okay, so I just took the crusty seat off of our seat base. Luckily, this car came with these, you guys. Um, I can't suggest any ones, but this is already a bracket that fits the C5. You could actually make your own bracket to go from this to the C5, whatever you want, but nicely, this has all sorts of option bolts, so I'm just gonna use the brackets from the race equip seat and put it to here. So let me get that sorted out and I'll show you guys. All right, so we've got everything mounted. We've got our base quip bracket here and it's adjustable. You can recline it or however you want, position the seat, the height of the seat, you know, how much it reclines. So pretty cool brackets and uh, they bolted up beautifully to the other one. So got those all in there. Now we can go ahead and put the seat in the car. All right, you guys, so after a bunch of adjusting, finally got this seat in here with the belts. It looks so much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the other side and uh, we'll get those belts out of there. So when you're adjusting these, there's two considerations because there's kind of the on the go or on the fly adjustments, which you'll see here, but then there's the overall adjustments, which you'll see back there. So each one of these straps has it and uh, you kind of have to take the seat in and out and in and out until you find out where your adjustment length is based on kind of an approximate. Because the other thing too is I can adjust it for myself, but then I have to consider at least on the passenger side. Driver side, I don't care so much. But on the passenger side, I have to consider, you know, some uh, larger people <laughs> may or may not get into this seat. So anyways, got those all adjusted. And every time, because the buckles in this car is so small, I had to take the seat in and out and in and out to get these adjusted. But anyways, they're all in place. Now let's go ahead and move on to the driver side. Okay, so driver side seat is out. We already had this one in here, so it wasn't much, just four bolts. This one popped out. And then I went ahead and I took out all the old belts because you guys aren't missing much there. Um, you will have to find some spots if you guys are putting like I said, harnesses in your vehicle and you don't already have them, which I'm sure is probably a lot of you, you are gonna have to find places to mount them. Um, I can show you where mine are mounted. So the one that kind of comes up through your crotch, that one's in the middle here. So there's that one. And then I think you probably could have gone off of the two back seat posts. I'm not sure on the regulations on that, but um, mine also has two holes drilled here for the two lap belts corresponding ones here's the this side and there's that one the left and the right and then of course the mounting point on our harness bar so those are all those and then also on our seat bracket it also has holes which i imagine you probably i mean this looks like more of a seat buckle type deal but i imagine you probably could have ran the harnesses to these if you really needed to but also I'm not sure exactly on 
all the different regulations here's the fia certification here as well as you can see and where it's good until so 2027 so anyways let's go ahead i'm gonna get the lap belts in here and show you guys kind of how it's looking and all that adjustment process All right, so I got everything in place, you guys. I can definitely snug this up more for track use, but just for test fitting, we're pretty dang close. And then I've got the wheel tilted up, so if I bring the wheel down into me, this is gonna be pretty legit. We ain't going nowhere in this thing, so definitely a lot more secure. We're gonna be staying in place. Like I said, I still gotta mess with the adjustment, but you guys don't have to watch me do that. I'll probably end up cinching them in the back a little bit more, just so we don't have as big of uh, tails here, but I mean, that's kind of how it works. So, you know, if you start seeing you got too much over here or maybe, you know, right here, how my alignment, the two, uh, two straps aren't quite aligned. So I could probably pull this one back a little bit over there and at the same time, pull it back so I can get rid of some of these tails, depending on how much adjustment you want to leave flapping around. But it's pretty much the process, but this stuff is solid. You guys, it looks so good too. So we got a medium size seat on here. We got a large over there. They come in a few different sizes, so kind of whatever you uh, whatever you prefer. But this is this is awesome. All right, so that's gonna be a wrap for this video, guys. I just want to show you some of the safety stuff and upgrades that we're doing to the C5 Corvette. If you guys haven't seen the other videos on the channel, go check them out. So it is Pro Charge heads cam, and we're getting the whole car sorted out. If I haven't already said it, we picked this car up for a good price, but we are going through the whole entire thing because. There's just 5 million issues with this and we're trying to get it ready for Holly LS Fest Texas and Holly LS Fest East. So we're gonna be over there. If you guys are there, we'll be there and uh, come say hi. We'll have a booth as well. We're gonna be ripping this car and competing in both events. So definitely come and uh, check it out. It's gonna be a really good time. Anyways, if you guys found this helpful or informative, down in the description below will be all the stuff that we use to install this. I'll also see if I can find some links for some seat brackets if you wanna do something similar, since mine already kinda of had some unknown brand seat brackets. I'll link some down below as well so you guys can do the same thing, kinda of drop everything in and be good to go. So that's it. Give it a thumbs up before you take off. Check out the other videos. We'll see you guys on the next one.